Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Airport CEO where we are playing Prague Lectony, a small airport to become big. The game has been running for about an hour while I was investigating the various things and learning a bit about the game and uh, also expanding what we already are building. I, the game is on pause, I have my reason for that and before I unpause it I will show you a couple of things that I have done. So, first of all, one thing to mention, uh, I probably forgot to say that uh, Latignani is a grass field airport. Its runway and taxiways and everything are made of, uh, you know, are made on uh, grass. There's no pavement or anything like, uh, I think you have two options, uh, asphalt and concrete, yeah. So no asphalt, no concrete. So that's why I set everything up. I'm kind of happy with the fact that you can uh, upgrade everything to asphalt uh, afterwards or, and that is interesting, we can expand our small uh, runway too, which is pretty good. I'm probably going to use that. Also, there is a possibility, a logical one, to uh, set your runway to uh, arrival, departure or both. So eventually we might uh, go with a second runway down here that will be for departures and this one will be for arrivals. But for now, we have the runway, we have the four stands as I planned it. Uh, we have a control tower here, and I managed to hire the procurement lady. Where is the staff? I think here? Yeah. So, uh, wait, no, that's... Uh, oh, the board here. So we now have uh, us as a CEO. We have CFO, Klaus Wagner. We have an HR director, Ola Christian. And we have a procurement director, Margo Laurent. She's pretty good, I think. So she procured for us uh, the possibility to build a, a basic fuel depot. And I also built an attachable fuel tank. So we will have a bit more fuel on the airport. I also built a basic uh, vehicle depot here. We have uh, the checkpoint. Oh my God! What did they do with that fence? <laughs> okay, that has to be that has to be fixed. Uh, hold on. So we'll delete this and we'll build another fence um, here. Actually, wait. Where's the fence? I think it's a structure. Yeah. Oh, I cannot place a structure without the delivery site. Okay. Well, that that's another thing. Uh, <laughs> Uh, once I started building, I realized that the delivery sites are too far, so I moved them up here, but as they didn't build the road, it was impossible to do it. So we are now currently in the phase of moving our delivery sites up here. So the game needs to uh, think about it as being here. I guess it will need a bit of time to figure it out. Anyway, we have the checkpoint here. I started building a fence, which is for now pure cosmetic, but we will uh, expand that. And we have our office building here. Uh, we have the toilets for ladies, we have the toilets for men. Uh, we have one room which is designated uh, as a restroom, well not a restroom, as a relaxment room for airport staff, technicians, ramp agents, uh, maintenance uh, technicians, mechanics and franchise staff. We have one more which is for security janitors. And then we have two offices, which are for um, HR director, procurement director, and strategy director here, each having their own table. And one bigger, which is for uh, CEO, CFO, CIO, and COO. Uh, we also have some plans set up. Uh, here we have a drop-off site for cars, a crosswalk, double crosswalk, and a bus shelter here for people who are coming uh, via bus. We'll Build the pavement here and the second or the first terminal will probably be around here in this area because it seems only logical at this point. We'll see. Now why the game is on hold? Well, as we have runway and as we have uh, stands, we already got a request for arrival from... Um, come on, open. It doesn't want to open. <laughs> Actually, there's, there's, uh, let me say it this way, there's an airport, um, this airport, even though it's closed, got a request from one of the aircrafts to arrive, and I want to let it arrive right now. So we'll open uh, the airport, if I can figure out how there's a big, here, operations, we'll open the airport, and the aircraft will arrive in a few seconds okay now it opens so it's um 
Oh, it's flying from Havana. It was supposed to arrive at 1417, but it's delayed. Oh, here it is. So our first airport. Uh, our first aircraft is coming to our airport. Hey there, little buddy. Welcome to Prague, Letnyany. We're waiting for you. You guys can continue building this. So, uh, each aircraft that arrives has a number uh, and a set of information from it. So this one is a Cessna 182, uh, which is a nice model. It has landed at 1446. Uh, it has no requests, it is full of fuel. And it's going from Winnipeg to Prague, Letnyane. Really? Which stand you want to be at, buddy? Hmm. Where are you going? I guess one of these is better for you? We got no more requests. Uh, there was a way in one of the videos how to always accept the general aviation, but I don't know if that is possible here. Oh, he's coming here. Okay, so he's gonna be resting here. Welcome. Now, we still don't have the basic fuel depot or the vehicle depot, so we can't really refuel these aircraft, which is a bit weird. I wasn't expecting anyone to request uh, a stay here until we actually, like, you know, can refuel them at least. But, well, <laughs> they come. So what about you guys? Man, it takes... I, I like that. It takes forever, though, to build anything in this game, which is awesome. They actually do have to walk and drive and do all of this kind of stuff. Hmm. Okay, there are cars coming. I do actually hope that they can... Come here, current cures. Will the game allow me now to the defense? Yeah, okay, so it has realized its mistake. <laughs> Interesting. So the fence on one side will be slightly bigger than on the other side. I don't mind it. Oh, 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 oh. No, not the checkpoint. No, 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 can I cancel that? Uh, I wanted to... Oh, I understand. The, I thought this fence was put, like, to the wrong side. But this is the entire checkpoint. God damn it, and now I deleted it. Okay, well, my fault. So this is why the fence is off. Because they there is a pre-built fence on both sides. Okay, so live and learn. And we have the... Yeah, this is going to be much faster when they come here. Oh, and we have the fuel tank built. Good. So, hey, buddy, will you just stay here? I was going to depart soon from Prague, Letnyany, to Jose Marti International Airport at Havana. So, it's going to fly away soon. Oh, that's nice. What about the weather? Next weather update will arrive in 1 hour and 51 minutes. Forecast accuracy 100%. Right now, it's below... It's below freezing point. Wow. Surprised. I thought it was... Spring. Yeah, it's spring, man. Why is it so cold? I don't know. That's weird. Oh, man. I, wish, I just wish I didn't delete this. Is there like a way? I'm just gonna check if there's an undo button. Uh, nope. Nope, don't see it anyway. Well, never mind. We'll build it again. I don't think the checkpoint is dramatically expensive. No, a thousand, we can do that. So, we have another request. Accept it. Because these buddies will mean the most income for us. Now, uh, when we open the dashboard, uh, where is... this is contracts, budget. Yeah, everyone income 200 bucks. So at this point we are uh, earning about 600 per hour and expending about 800 per hour. That's good. 
So what's this? That's another Cessna. Oh, this one looks nice. It's going from Venice to Prague. Well, good for us. Welcome home. It doesn't have fuel. It wants to be refueled. Okay. We'll do that once these guys get to building the freaking... The freaking... Um, uh, um, what's it called? Fuel? Main fuel? Basic fuel depot. Okay. We need that. Basic fuel depot. Now, I want to expand this fence here. And delete this kind of fence. Okay, it's marked for demolition. But they will build this first. I really, okay, they're building a fuel depot. That's good. We'll need to get a car that will fuel the aircraft. That's done through the procurement through the procurement uh, screen and I still a bit iffy on how you do that so let's figure that out together now those are jobs overview baggage handling system I actually want to lower the tarmac lights on from 17 and off at 9 yeah hey I've set up some labs to see how they work and they will actually work great so this is nice I'll be happy about that. We'll put on more lights when we are done. I wonder if you pay like electricity for that. It'd be pretty good. So where is the... Oh, here it is. Procurement. So we need to get a fjord fuel truck that will... Oh, we need the depot. Damn. Well, we already have the Avgas. Uh, fuel service. We're gonna have to get the jet fuel service uh, later on, but that's not really important until we get uh, the dis bigger aircraft, the jet aircraft. Now, how's the budget doing? Yeah, well, not too bad. We're still paying quite a lot for the construction. So I think we'll be able to you know, break it even once uh, the construction is done. Because most of this balance goes to the workers that are working on our depots and stuff. Oh yeah, they're building it. It's going to be there soon. Can you upgrade? Nope. I'm thinking it might be nice. Oh yeah, the condition is... Oh man, we'll have to repair this, won't we? Yeah. I'll have to upgrade this to asphalt because otherwise this is gonna be too expensive to repair all the time. God damn it. <laughs> I didn't think that was such a big issue. Well, we have the janitors. Oh, here's the fuel depot. Tank and tank. Okay, status is operational. Two few. Did you guys demolish this already? I don't think so. So maintain. There should be no aviation fuel supply contract signed. Okay, so we use zip fuel or nature fuel. Small contract. The following conditions apply: Avgas, aviation fuel. Five cents per. That's not even five cents. No, no, that's it's half a cent per liter, and jet aviation fuel for more. How about this? One? Okay, this one is cheaper. Forty thousand per delivery. Okay, I think that other one is better. The zip fuel. So let's sign it. And there should be a de fuel is delivered by zip fuel. Depot is awaiting a refuel. So I don't know if that is that will work when we demolished <laughs> the freaking checkpoint. Okay, you guys are. I'm gonna do one thing. I think that if we upgrade the runway, it's gonna close it. And we will have to completely rebuild everything, which kind of sucks, you know, when you think about it. But it's only logical that that will happen. 
I just wasn't expecting the condition of the runway to deteriorate so fast. Can we hire some people to take care of this? Airport staff, security, what was that? Was that an email? Oh, golden oppor opportunity, that's a spam. We need the spam filter. Okay, they're working on the terminal. Yeah, they will have to finish everything else before they even consider that. It's, that kind of sucks, really. I would like to prioritize certain things and say, hey, this is really important. But they're building the vehicle depot, that's good. Yeah, we do not have the requirement necessary, which is the vehicle depot. Well, at least we got some aircraft staying here. That's good. Uh, upgrades. 10,000 to expand towards west or east. Hmm. I've set up, I didn't say that before, I've set up uh, the pushback points to here, here, and then one at uh, each, you know, end of the taxiway. So I'm hoping that's going to work well. Okay, no departures, no arrivals. That's good. Uh, one thing that I'm really interested in regarding this game is if there is a possibility to become a hub for an entire airline. If that would be possible, I would kill because that that is the best thing from what i saw there was just short-term contracts for a certain amount of flights in a certain amount of days uh there is a what was it flight planner f so you have like monday tuesday wednesday you can set up flights always delay always send away so you you know uh decide when aircraft will come and when they won't and you fill contracts using that. But uh, having a hub would be just awesome. Okay, I believe that we are now able to procure... You do not have the requirements for this product. I have gas fuel service upgrade. Road checkpoint. Okay, so we do not have the road checkpoint here. God damn it. Well, anyway, as you can see, our airport is now open, but it's far from being finished. We're working on the offices, on the crosswalks, and stuff like that. It's gonna take some more time to be finished. But so far, I'm very happy with it. I think we might even think about building some more stands here. So that would be pretty good. We have only four. And as finances will tell us, the two aircraft give us 450, 475 per hour. So if we have four, we're breaking even, but you know we need to repair these, and that's going to be quite expensive, I think. Well, actually, let's check it out. Can we repair the runway now? Okay, so just spend the money, and they get repaired. Okay, that's... Fair game, I guess. Fair game. So, uh, in the next update that I'm going to do, uh, that one's going to come when the checkpoint is actually finished, when we have finished this entire area, and when we hopefully have uh, the vehicle for refueling, because one of these aircrafts really need the fuel. You know, are we leaving... Oh, at 6.50... Oh, there's a next arrival and frequency once. That would lead me to believe that this guy, uh, you know, that the actual reoccurring service, like forever, daily service, is possible. Hmm. Well, we'll just have to see, I guess. We'll just have to see. So, I'll see you in the next episode when we actually look at the airport as it is finished.